Hey guys, it's Ebony and I'm back to do a monthly favorites video. I didn't get an opportunity to do a favorites video for the month of July. So this favorites video is actually going to be like a combined July and August favorites. Um, showing you guys the products that I have really been liking over the past two months. I don't have a lot of products to show you, but the ones that I do have, I really, really like. So let me go ahead and start by showing you the first thing in this favorites video, which is my MSM. I've been taking MSM for about three to four weeks. And um, I'll get into the reason why I started taking MSM. But first I want to show you the brand of MSM that I'm, that I'm taking. So it's not actually... The MSM that most people are familiar with, which are like pills or capsules, or the, the kind that you take orally, um, which are look like a pill form. It's not that type of MSM. It's actually MSM flakes. And what I do is I take the flakes and I mix it with water and then I drink it. And um, I really like uh, this form of MSM better because because I mix it with water and I drink it, it actually gets in your system and it works a lot better than um, the pill form. So the brand of MSM that I'm taking is called Kala Health and it looks like this, um, the packaging and it says MSM Coarse MSM Flakes and then it has right here, it says Opti MSM. Um, when you're purchasing MSM, it's important to get the Opti MSM because that's this that type of MSM is the purest. Um, it's the purest, the process that, that it undergoes in order to get it into a form that's usable by you and me. It, it goes through... A process that allows the MSM to be purer than other type of MSMs. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but I did my research behind it before I purchased it, and then I found that Opti MSM is the best MSM that you can purchase. I'm going to do a separate video on this MSM, and I'm going to give you all the details about it. So definitely look out for that video if you're interested. But let me just give you a brief overview for the purpose of this fav favorites video. So it's MSM flakes. It kind of looks like Epsom salt. So if you can see that. So it comes with um, this spoon which has a teaspoon and a tablespoon. One side is a teaspoon measuring cup and one side is a tablespoon. Now, I normally take about a teaspoon a day with water. And the reason why I started taking it is because I wanted the benefits for my skin. It's actually good for hair, nails, skin, joints, and a lot of other things which I will go into more detail in a separate video but the reason I started taking it for was for my skin I wanted the benefits um, that it provides for my skin if it helped my hair and nails that would have been a plus which it has um, but that's a plus but I really uh, started taking it for my skin so um, this is my first favorite is MSM Coarse Flakes and I got this from Amazon.com alright so my next favorite thing is going to be Marley Hair. <laughs> Marley Hair, yes. And um, the brand that I've been using is this hair right here. It says Jamaican Twist Braid and it's by Equal, Free Trust, Free Trust Equal um, Jamaican Twist Braid. But it's just, I think it's just like Marley Hair. I don't know if it's a difference between Marley Hair and Jamaican Twist Braid, but it's the same texture. Well, anyway, if you can see here, I have this pretty cute high bun which is not my real hair but if you didn't know that my hair was is much shorter than what um, it needs to be to create this bun if you didn't already know that you probably would think that it's my hair because the texture matches so well and I've been using this um, Marley hair or this um, kinky hair to do all kinds of updos by integrating the hair into my own hair and then twisting it and pinning it and doing you know all kinds of different styles and I've really really been loving this to give my hair more versatility than what I normally have um, since my natural hair is kind of in a stage where it's not long enough to do um, all the styles that I want to do and integrating a little bit of this hair has helped so much like like I said I did this bun and um, also put this video um, right here on Instagram where I showed you guys an updo that I did when I went home to Alabama Which I'm still going to do a tutorial on that that's going to be coming up very soon And I'm going to show you guys how I created that updo Okay, so my next uh, monthly favorites are two lotions and speaking of Alabama when I went home and I visited my sisters um, My sister was uh, using a particular brand of lotion on her daughter who has um, eczema um uh, it just, small eczema patches around her elbows and I think some other parts of her body but she was using this particular lotion on her and I tried it because I saw them using it I just you know put a little bit on my body and I absolutely loved it so um, I went out and bought my own 
and it's actually a baby lotion but the consistency of the lotion is so thick and rich that adults can use it just fine I don't know why they marketed it the product just for babies but it's like a great lotion it doesn't smell like baby lotion it, it's not watery or whatever consistency you would think I just dropped the lotion whatever consistent use consistency you would think babies would need it's not that type of lotion um, it's very thick and rich anyway it's the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Chamomile and Argan Oil Baby Healing Lotion with frankincense and myrrh and it looks like this this is the packaging this stuff is so rich and thick that it barely wants to pump out of the bottle just rich and thick and it just feels so moisturizing and the smell is wonderful I don't know exactly where the smell is coming from if it's argan oil or if it's frankincense or myrrh I don't know or a combination of all of those things but the smell is so wonderful it's not really perfumey it's not floral it's not um, it's not fruity it's like and it doesn't smell like baby. I can't describe the smell, but it's just wonderful. And it's so thick and rich and creamy. And it moisturizes so well. And I really, really love it. So this is the one that my sister was using on her baby. And I love this one. But when I was in Target, I saw that they had another kind of baby lotion. And I was like, hmm, let me see about that one. And I like this one a lot too. And it's the Red Bush and Baba Sue. Baba Sue, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Red Bush and Baba Sue Baby Head to Toe Lotion with Carrot Oil and Shea Butter. And it looks like this one. And this one is wonderful as well. Just as thick and creamy. Has a different smell. Uh, has a different uh, smell. I like the smell of this one as well. I'm mix mixing all these lotions and smells on my hands right now. Uh, and I would, I would assume that if you don't like the smell of one, you would probably like the other because they're very different. But the way they perform is pretty much the same. But I really, really like those lotions. I don't have many hair products to share with you in this favorite video because I pre I've been pretty much using the same hair products on my hair. The ones that I know work and that I really like. So I haven't really ventured out very much. Uh, but I just want to throw this in my favorites video because it's an absolute favorite of, favorite of mine and I probably have included it in a favorites video before. But it's the Eden Body Works Coconut Shea Leave-In. This leave-in is everything to me. It leaves my hair so moisturized. And for a leave-in, you would think uh, a leave-in shouldn't be as moisturizing as maybe a um, moisturizer. But I use this as a leave-in, as a moisturizer, as a refresher, as all. I, I use this for everything. I use this on my kids' hair. I just love this stuff. It's so creamy. And it, it has a thin, thinner consistency, so it is a little bit runny. But it's a creamy type of runny, not a watery type of runny, if that makes any sense. It's thin enough to be a leave-in and not weigh your hair down, but it's creamy enough to really moisturize your hair. And I love this stuff. This stuff is really awesome. Okay, so I want to show you the lipsticks that I've been wearing pretty much all the time for the past two months. When I go to work, I keep my makeup simple. I don't do a lot of eyeshadow, I don't do a lot of lipstick, and I don't do a lot of a lot of stuff. You know, I just keep it really simple, basically because I don't have time. I would like to look really pretty and go to work and look all made up, but I don't have the the time in the morning when I'm trying to get out of the house and get my kids out of the house so basically I stick to really um, plain makeup looks and the two lipsticks that I have um, been wearing for the past two months are Max Velvet Teddy it's a great nude color you might be familiar familiar with this color okay it's a great brownie pinkish nude and then I have pink plaid and this is uh, it's more pink. I don't know if you can tell the difference. This is more brown. This is more pink. But they're both matte lipsticks. And they just look really really um, calm and toned down and appropriate for work in my opinion. Even though I will wear bright colors to work, I'm not afraid to. But, you know, if you just want a, a calm look, I like these two colors. So Velvet Teddy and Pink Plaid. And then this lipstick that I have on today is so fun for late summer, early fall, and all through the fall too. And it is called Purdy Persimmon. It's a wet and wild color. It's like a bright orange. I don't know if it's coming across as red or orange on camera. But it's actually a bright orange. And it's so pretty. That's the color right there. Of course it's on my lips too. So I really didn't have to swatch it. But there it is. This is Purdy Persimmon. It's really, really pretty. Very rich. 
looks good with orange blush speaking of orange blush i'm wearing an orange blush that i'm absolutely loving and this was in the uh we are onyx box but i didn't get it in my onyx box but i know a lot of people did and when i saw everybody wearing it and loving it i was like i need that blush so i went and purchased it separately you know just off amazon i forgot how much i paid for it um but it's called laguna and this is the color. It looks so pretty. I've been wearing this blush so, so much. I'm wearing it right now. It gives you, you probably already know. I'm stuttering. You probably already know that orange blush looks really pretty on brown skin. Well, this looks so gorgeous. And um, it looks good with this lipstick color too. Um, the other blush that I've been wearing a lot and loving all summer. Not just the past two months, but all summer. It's called Bella Rosa by uh, Milani. And it's this rich pink color. Looks so pretty on brown skin. Um, I've been using this thing forever. And like I have a hit pan. And it looks like I have just a lot of blush left. And I, I've really been using this blush forever. I use this blush almost daily. Between that orange blush and this blush, you know, I use this more. And I've been using those two pretty much every day. So... Um, I would think I would have hit pan by now, but I haven't. It's like so much product is in this container. All the writing has rubbed off the top of the packaging, and I still have a lot of blush left. This blush is so pretty. Okay, so the next things I want to show you are these NYX colored liners, and they are so vibrant and so pretty, and I don't know why I, I just now decided to try them out, um, you know, as of recently, but I really, really love them. And um, I'm just doing some quick swatches on my hand. They have some vibrant colors and then they have some ones with glitter in them. So um, I have three colors here. I have blue, I have purple, and then I have a glitter one, which is like a teal, a teal kind of color um, with glitter in it. And these are the swatches on my hand. We have the blue, we have the purple, we have the teal. It, the swatches are not doing it justice. I I wore this blue liner as a wing liner with some hot pink lips, lips, and I tell you, it was so pretty. So pretty. I might have to recreate the look and show you guys. It was so pretty. It was this as a thick winged liner and then some hot pink lips, and it was so pretty. Um, this blue is so vibrant. It's just really vibrant. The purple is not as vibrant, but it's a great purple color if you want to just do like a colored liner um natural makeup and just like a colored liner um it's really pretty and th these glitter ones are pretty too this is the green one i'm kind of wearing it in my lower lash line let me zoom in for you guys okay can you see i'm kind of wearing it right here in my lower lash line just to give my makeup like a little bit of interest i have some glitter liner right there on my lower lash line so these are really great. Um, I plan on getting a couple more colors um, and um, using these in the, the fall to do some really pretty makeup looks. So the last thing I want to show you is another liner from NYX and it's just a brown liner but it is my favorite and there is the color right there. This is what it looks like. It's just one of the retractable liners and I use it on my top um, the top of my eye to do wing liners like I said when I'm going to work and I want my makeup to look really natural um, even though brown wing liner is not really natural but it's more soft than black and it's you know it's less daring than black and it just I just like the way it look it looks with nice neutral makeup and just have a nice brown wing liner and as you can see I'm, I'm wearing it today and it just looks more soft then black so if you if you have a look and you don't want a real sharp black wing liner which is beautiful but maybe you don't want it for every looks try this brown liner from NYX and it's creamy so it doesn't it goes on smooth and it gives you a nice dark opaque line on your eye and it's not blotchy and, it, and you don't have to pull your eye and, and tug it it just smooth it just glides on smoothly and draws the line nice and nice and smoothly and I really love the fact that it gives you a nice dark brown line and, and I've been using that a lot all right guys that's it for this uh, favorites video I have a few more videos that I'm going to be recording right after this so I'll be in the same makeup same attire and I will be knocking those videos out tonight so stay tuned for those and I will talk to you guys again soon thanks for watching stay blessed bye bye